In order to nudge healthy behaviors, it's important to think strategically. Unfortunately, just offering healthy foods is not always enough to get good reviews, nor is it enough for kids to actually consume healthy foods. Penn State Pro Wellness has a handful of recommendations that camps can do to ensure that the dining hall is a fun and healthy atmosphere. First impressions mean a lot. Pro Wellness recommends playing music during mealtimes and allowing the kids to sing, dance, get a little crazy, but most of all, have fun. If mealtimes are stringent, it doesn't matter how great the food is, kids are going to feel restricted, which is never fun and will likely show in leader surveys. There are suggested playlists on the Pro Wellness Summer Camp Revamp Toolkit. Feel free to use a streaming service to play these songs in the dining hall. Nudging healthy behaviors can be tricky. Try hanging health promotion posters at eye level. Hanging posters in high traffic areas allows scouts to see them while they're waiting in line. These serve as a gentle reminder about what our bodies really need and may also nudge scouts to eat healthy without being too abrasive. These posters are free to print from the Summer Camp Revamp Toolkit. In addition to music and posters, the salad bar should be in a centralized location. If everyone walks by the salad bar, it helps draw attention to it and makes eating healthy convenient. Studies show most dining halls do not have the space to do this, so instead, make sure everyone has to walk by the salad bar so that they are aware it is there. Since many camps serve hundreds or thousands of kids each meal, there are often long lines. If scouts have the option of either getting salad or hot food first, some will be in the salad line and some will be in the hot food line, decreasing wait times. Some scouts may not even want hot food, which can offload long serving lines and allow scouts more time to eat. In order for this to happen, the salad bar must be adequately stocked so that it has enough grains, proteins, fruit, and vegetables for a meal. If the salad bar is full, it also looks more attractive and the visibility of food really impacts how people think it is going to taste. If people get a plate of white food, they think it is bland without tasting it. If they get a plate of colorful food, they think it is fresh without even tasting it. So be sure to positively influence campers before they even try the food. Rich, dark, leafy greens instead of iceberg lettuce. Plenty of plant-based proteins, nuts and beans, healthy fats in the seeds, and balsamic dressing are all good salad bar options. Lastly, fruit and whole grain pasta salad on the salad bar can complete the meal. In general, the best food reviews are about well-stocked salad bars and cut fruit. So, now that the scouts have gotten salad, let's focus on the serving line. If campers walk through a serving line, this recommendation pertains to your camp. Make sure the vegetables and fruits are the first option in line. This helps hungry campers fill up on the good stuff. Further down the line, whole grain and protein options should be provided. Grains and proteins are likely going to be selected regardless of location on the serving line. The strategic placement encourages hungry scouts to fill up on vegetables and fruit and then whole grains and proteins in better portions than if they were offered protein and whole grains first and then came up for seconds of just those items. Lastly, make sure that any sugary beverages are out of sight and hopefully out of mind. If sugary beverages are currently offered three times a day at your camp, consider offering these only twice each day. If you already offer them twice a day, consider going down to once a day. Small progressions tend to be well received. However, some camps have completely eradicated sugar-sweetened beverages from the dining hall without complaints. Limiting sugar consumption during hot weather can decrease the risk for dehydration. Consider limiting sweetened beverages even more so when the heat index is high. If you still offer sweetened beverages, we hope that these sweet options are not convenient choices. Water should be the most convenient option. Consider placing pitchers of water on the table before campers arrive, or perhaps in a more centralized location. Some camps might consider investing in an attractive hydration station. If juice is available, it should be out of the way, in the back or corner of the dining hall to discourage consumption. 
If scouts sit down with a big bowl of salad, a hot vegetable, fruit, whole grain and protein, or at least half their plate full of fruits and vegetables, the staff has succeeded. These suggestions are very simple, achievable steps to make any dining hall more healthful. But do not underestimate these modifications because they are simple. Implement as many as possible. And if leaders run into hiccups along the way, reach out to Penn State Pro Wellness. The center is willing and able to help walk staff through recommendations for creating a healthy camp.